All right, in the last tutorial, I've been making a little introduction to what we're going to do and uh, how we're going to use Pusher to uh, implement this service, who's online. And uh, in this part of tutorial, uh, we'll start uh, doing uh, service side. Uh, we have to download Pusher library and we have to create our uh, new app on the Pusher. And, uh, create config files so let's get started first of all uh, go to pusher and you can sign up for free and uh, after you sign in you will be uh, you will see that there is some uh, default app you can create new apps or just use the default ones and you will see that uh, for each app you have app credentials you have app ID unique identifier of each app and you have access tokens and uh, those access tokens can be changed at any time uh, I'm going to change mine after I record this video of course because this is my secret token and I'll explain later uh, how it's being used for authenticating users and uh, now what we have to do we'll go to our uh, our root directory and we'll create one new folder called PHP in PHP folder we'll create pusher folder in this folder we will store our configuration files authentication scripts and PHP library so let's go here and create a few new PHP files I'm just gonna save them right now so the first file we're going to create will be named config config PHP second file we're going to create is auth.php and uh, those files will be used for connecting and authenticating user on, users on pusher now we have to download pushers library and you can simply go to github.com forward slash pusher and uh, scroll down you will find pusher php server you can do it with composer but I prefer this way pusher you can download the script by going to raw and save this save this to PHP folder and now let's check if it's really there yes everything's okay now we have to modify our config PHP file and what we're gonna do we will put some variables that contains our keys and app ID in the script so we can include this script later on and start using pusher so let's go to our app credentials section and because I'm lazy I'm going to just copy this and maybe this is much safer method to copy than just typing manually because you can maybe make a mistake and those are, those are long strings of numbers and letters so maybe it's better to copy this at the end don't forget to add dollar signs and columns okay now we have we have created our config PHP file and uh, now we can start uh, adding some client-side libraries and start doing on uh, Java, doing some JavaScript code that will in fact uh, implement our on who's online functionality all right I have added a few scripts at the bottom of my HTML document and uh, I have included JS main JS but we don't have this file yet and uh, we have included I have included code uh, jQuery library and pusher library so let's create JS main JS uh, I'm just gonna create one more folder called JS and inside of that folder we will place a new JS file a file that we call main.js okay now we have all the files in place uh, I have talked about this login system which is pretty pretty simple without any database let's just check if it really works so let's create one paragraph and say hello 
hello and we are going to display username and close the paragraph tag so we can also add one more thing to that uh, we can add logout button every time somebody press this link uh, he will be automatically redirected to logout PHP and basically uh, what we, it will then it will just destroy the user session and that way user user will, will be permanently log out, logged out okay now we have to create that file um, I'm lazy again so I'm just gonna save this file as logout PHP and now I'm going to destroy the session but before destroying the session we have to start a session and also redirect the user to login PHP page we don't need to exit the script because we don't have anything underneath this that will be enough okay we can go to our browser and go to localhost okay and now if I type Jeff login it will say hello Jeff log out of course and uh, just to make it better visible I'm just gonna add b tag here right uh, let's try to log in again hello Jeff and that would be it now that our login system and scripts are in place uh, we can start uh, programming our JavaScript part of system so let's go to main.js and just start a basic jQuery okay inside of this we will have to uh, we'll have to name our channel so I'm going to create one channel name which will be called presence channel and uh, pusher uh, if I say let's say main if this channel is called name pusher doesn't know which kind of channel it is uh, it doesn't know if it's public or private of present channel because uh, within the pusher uh, you can uh, play around with three types of channels uh, public channels and uh, private and present channels uh, private and present channels uh, require authentication of the users and uh, they have to have uh, a, s a special prefix uh, uh, pri private channels uh, have a private dash prefix and present channel have this prefix presence dash main okay and this way pusher will know that we are trying to to communicate throughout the present channel and so that we can uh, make use of its functionality so now we are going to create pusher object and uh, new pusher object uh, will, will be created by calling this construct and we have to su uh, supply it uh, with at least one parameter uh, one argument and this argument is our app key so let's get back to our app cred credentials and search for our app key you will see that this is our app key so just copy this key and paste it in here now push will be created and uh, our connection will be established uh, so now we can um, let's say uh, this can be presence channel I'm just gonna say channel name and uh, here I'm gonna say p channel equals uh, how we connect to the channel we use a pusher method called subscribe so pusher dot subscribe and now we have to say 
what is the name of the channel we are trying to subscribe so channel name okay now we have subscribed to, to this channel and because of the fact that this is presence channel because it has, has presence prefix pusher will try to authenticate us by using a PHP script for authentication but at this point pusher really doesn't know where to look for because it, do it doesn't know where to search on the server where is this script located so we have to somehow tell the pusher where to look for authentication script so we have to supply one more argument called auth and endpoint and we are simply placing uh, the path to that script now that we have our connection in place and we have subscribed to the channel we can now uh, search deeply into pushers options and how we can uh, in fact uh, see which users are all online using just just web sockets and this would be it for this tutorial see you in the next part thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe